how do they know when it's really an addiction or when it's just, I don't know, maybe making uh, choices that aren't the best thing, but you're feeling like wild uh, one night? Yeah. I mean, how does someone I, know? I the get difference? asked by um, media people all the time, you know, well, how many affairs does it take to make a sex addict? Right. And it's a little <laughs> bit like asking me, uh, well, how many drinks does it take to make an alcoholic? Yeah. And it really isn't so much, it's about what goes on in the brain and how you are how you are preoccupying and obsessing. Well, can I say this too, because I want to yeah. really make sure I make a point of this. When you say it's a brain disease, you have brain scans, and they, in the brain of an addict is different than the brain of a non-addict, right? True, yes. And you, I mean, you've, you, I, I think you coined the term uh, arousal template. Yes. Okay, which is when you first get introduced to, to sex, whatever it is that turns you on, that you found exciting, uh, that, that gets, pretty much cemented in the neural pathways of your brain? Or? And, and, and if we call it an arousal template, and we, 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 you know, it, we now have it, and so that there are groups of things, like we measure now 240 behaviors, and they kind of go together in groups. And so if you were to see me, like, I mean, I don't do therapy anymore, but I work with therapists and their patients, right. and, and the first half hour, I look like a magician, and, and I'm not. What it is is I know the map. And so if I know somebody who touches people inappropriately in crowds, I, I know that he also um, will hide under, hide in places in voyeur people. I know that he also will insert sexual humor into places that don't fit. Mm -hmm. That if he's a pastor or a counselor will touch in, the grieving widow and his fingers will touch inadvertently it will appear or the computer nerd who goes into the woman's computer and leaves a picture, it's the invasion. So we start looking for maps of things that what all those things have in common is invading in someone's space without somebody knowing it. Right. They're doing it secretly. So we look for those maps and they're an arousal template and they start to morph. They start to change into bigger things. They sometimes are rooted in sexual abuse patterns. Sometimes they're accidental. But they have, they have an inordinate power like that wine tasting we were talking about earlier. Right. They take on a meaning that is bigger 